All right, so this is going to be a response to uh, my brother, Immortal Minds. I've never met you, never talked to you, but I just want to respond to your video. Um, I like your positivity. I like your mind. It seems like you got a good heart. You seem to be the kind of guy who um, really cares and you really um, have a lot of love to give someone. I don't know your whole story. I just randomly watched this video and so far it's pretty good what you're talking about, but you're coming at it from a wrong angle from what I see so far. I'm, I'm only six and a half minutes in, uh, which yeah, I, should I definitely should watch the whole thing, but I'm going to stop right now and just make this video because I feel like where you I feel like I get where you're coming from and where you're going um, and what you're saying and I've been in this place I've been in the place where you're at right now um, first off I want to apologize for that in that background hum that's a uh, air purifier so apologize for that um, but I'm not gonna turn it off because there's some smoke in the air right now from one of my neighbors smoking a cigarette so I apologize but that's just gonna be a you know what it is because of time constraints but anyway so let me move on um so like i said like you got a lot of positivity I, I i can tell but i can also tell you're kind of a hurt soul and there's a lot of men out there like you and i would say there's a lot of men out there like us because i'm the same way man um but something i've been realizing recently and very 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 lately is that um you know you you have to have a purpose and, and what you were talking about how you were saying that, that you have to have a life goal that's so uh that's really important man and and what, what it, the the issue that a lot of guys get screwed up in is their life goal and their life purpose is so they can get a woman right so they want to improve their financial situation they want to improve their um, maternal external circumstances they want to get you know a, a better house they want to get a mortgage so they can get a nice you know condo or whatever they want a nicer car etc nicer clothes right this is that that ambition but if you watch a video by this guy named mark passio um it's called the unholy femme he talks about the social conditioning behind stuff like that and, and i'm not saying at all that having nice things isn't good i'm not saying at all that we shouldn't um you know aspire and 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 have ambition to to improve our lives and things like that but when you look at it from a hypergamous standpoint which is a MGTOW term but it was used by this guy, you know, Mark Passio. That's real. There, there's a real, um, you know, there, there, there's a real psychological, uh, psychosocial brainwashing going on there, right? And so it becomes this, you know, the bigger fish in the bigger pond. You know, the guy with the most toys gets the, the hottest girl, and it, it gets weird at that point. So it's no longer about shared values at that point. It's no longer about love values at that point it's no longer about finding someone unique finding your soulmate finding that special person who you want to live the rest of your life with because you love that person you want to build that person up no at that at that point it's it's because you you want the best situation oh this guy here he's cool he's funny whatever woo 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 but he's broke he doesn't have a nice car you know what i mean so so i can't fuck with that i gotta go over here and fuck with this other guy who even though he's not funny and he's not cool and he doesn't sling dick like this other guy, woo, woo, woo. He's got a nice car. He's got a nice apartment. So I don't go fuck with this guy. And then once you get bored of that, because, oh, man, I don't like the way he slings dick. Oh, woo, woo, woo. I, I got to go over this other guy because he's, you know, he's popular. He's got this. He got that. Woo, woo. And this is what these girls are doing. So it's like, yeah, you got the MGTOW philosophy where you can say, okay, I'm, I'm going to step outside of that. And I'm just going to, girl, all girls are like that. All, all women are like that. No such thing as a unicorn. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to walk away 100%. Or you could say, you know what? I'm going to try to find someone who's looking at it from a value perspective. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to find a woman who's looking for a long-term relationship based on the right values that I, I aspire to. Love, foundational faithfulness, building up a, a mutual relationship. And do that at the beginning of the relationship. Implement those types of uh i would say standards vocalize those put those out at the forefront look man i'm not just out here fucking around trying to you know c c catch a come up so i can get a better car so i can get a hotter woman so i can be happy and woo -woo, like every other dude i'm for real trying to work on a, a you know a relationship so on that note you know i was i'm, I'm always reminded by th this book called rollo tomasi um called the rational male 
where he's talking about you need a life purpose and you can't leave your life purpose and goals behind once you find a woman. And the reason, uh, you know, a lot of times the reason why she chose you in the first place was because of your life purpose and your goals, because you had ambition. This is what girls want in a man. But like I said, it plays into that hypergamy and it plays into those, um, those, those sort of unhealthy socioeconomic values that mask over in the, 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 the reality of what really makes a relationship tick and work, which is a love-based faith mutual, you know, um, uh, faith, faithfulness mutuality shared between you and the female. You're both looking at it from a perspective of I'm tr coming into this, I'm going to work on a relationship because I love this person, I'm going to build this person up, I'm going to stand by this person through thick and thin. Um, and that's the trick to a real, a real lasting relationship. It lies ultimately in morals, values, and sharing a life purpose together. If you both go into the relationship understanding that you want love and to build up the other person a a as a shared goal, and there's a chance it just might work out. But, you know, how many relationships are actually like that? Very, very few, you know? So like I said, watch this video by Mark Passio. It's called The Unholy Fem. It will change your perspective on biological choices and pursuits between the sexes. It's a cold game out there, man. It's a cold game that is is it, it, it's definitely psychological it's emotional manipulation going on from mass advertising the media magazines tv et cetera, et cetera, et cetera that's pumping this bullshit into our heads constantly that, that that we are eating psychologically we are eating in in, 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 in our soul and our heart we're t constantly taking this in why in the name of entertainment in the name of and, and there's so much just just absolute shit that has no value there's no wisdom t to be gained from it there's no um further advancement in knowledge or intellect etc it's just bullshit and so it's like find someone who's going to choose to eat the healthy food as opposed to the negative food i'm talking about the soul food i'm talking about you know how how you um you know you know you know what you place as, as virtues and what you place as as um values right so i mean it's a cold game and there's definite psychological and emotional you know manipulation going on out there in the world but you got to step back and separate that and find someone who is is foundationally not like that if you look at relationships in the 1930s the 1940s why did they work because they didn't have all the modern trappings that we have today and they shared that value if you if something's not broke you don't throw it away. If something's broke, you fix it. Or, you know, if, if if something's damaged, you fix it. You don't just toss it. So they they work through their problems. You have people being married for 60, 70 years, and and, and and they grow old together and they're happy as hell. Now, yeah, you got this sex problem, and everybody's out there slanging dick. Everybody's out there slanging pussy, and it's like that's that's a hard problem. But if you can go into it realizing that I'm gonna share this with somebody, and then and, and this is what it's gonna be. But you, it has to be on a love basis and shared mutuality. It has to have that love foundation. You have to have that thing in common, which is the, that understanding, that faithfulness and building up and supporting the other person is the keystone and it's the cornerstone to your relationship. You have to have that or else it's not, it's not going to work out. So unfortunately, dude, like, go watch that video by Mark Passio. See, I, see, I think society is being virtually almost completely brainwashed by over hypersexuality over um you know success emphasis is, is you know success is over emphasized to the point where it's like you got to be a rich guy or else you can't even get laid or you can't even and, and that's that's where it gets nutty and it's like go watch that because we're being programmed and, and i don't want everybody to watch that uh video and it's, it's a shame that it's on youtube and, and there's so few views because it's so brilliant um but, 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 you know, the, the, this look in your eye, I, I, I see it's this hurt, it's this pain because we're out here looking for the wrong type of women. We're out here and, and unfortunately we're producing the wrong type of women as a society. We're producing the women who are seeking the wrong types of things in men. Go watch that video. Go watch that video. So that's all I got to say, man. Like, you know, for now I'm going to watch the rest of your video and, um, if it changes, I'm going to come back in and say, you know, and, and say some changes, but I think I think I get what you're saying, man. And, and it's like, you know, we just don't have all the answers. But I, th I think that if if you if you look for those foundations, foundational values, 
in a in a spouse in a relationship type scenario you're going to be a lot better off than just trying to like you know impress a woman you know oh i'm i'm going to look for love so that it benefits me and woo woo uh, and it's like oh i'm going to look for love so so that you know i can have my my little kingdom or whatever yeah but you know if you don't have those foundational things then then you're going to try to go out and you're going to try to you, you know you're not going to have any direction you're going to be looking at it from a perspective of somebody who's looking at it like everybody else is looking at it. oh i got to go out and make a bunch of money so well, I, I you're not going to attract a hot woman and, and then i can be happy because once i got a hot woman they should love me and woo. it's like no that's the wrong thing you got to find someone who will stick with you whether you got money or not you got to find someone who'll stick with you whether you got a kingdom or not whether you whether you're poor and, and broken it don't matter because she loves you and you love her and that's the, you know that's what matters and, and i'm not saying it's easy to find i'm a single guy so it's like psh, but i see it there's people out there who do it there's people out there who 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 do make it happen but um it's rare i mean it seems to be more and more rare but you know there's people who have long-term relationships not the little two-year deal not the little four-year deal not the little one-year six not the little six-month deal not the little jumping from dude to dude to dude to you know woman to woman no there's people who have really long-term relationships it's just there's a simplicity in that. There's a simplicity in what they're doing. There's a simplicity in, in if you observe them and, and you go into their environment and you go into their um, homes and, and you observe how they treat it, th th there's a simplicity. It's just that this is my person. This is my lover. This is my wife. This is my husband. This is my, this is my spouse. You just got to find someone who's down for that. You know what I mean? Um, and you can't i think a lot of the problem is that men have high standards too and they're out here looking um you know they're out here looking to hook up and they're out here looking for sex and and, and, they, and we might not be honest with ourselves we might be saying oh yeah i'm uh i'm trying to you know i i, 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 I want to find love but you're trying to find it through some pussy you're trying to get some pussy and then you're trying to find love after you get that pussy oh you know once i get that pussy once i get that head then then i'm gonna settle down with somebody and that's how i i looked at it for years it's like no you got to come into the relationship like boom i want a long-term relationship off top off the bat this is what i want this is what i'm for real i want to be with somebody because i want to be in a relationship with somebody i'm looking to settle down i'm, I'm looking to you know find the one i'm for real i'm not just like dating i'm not just casually out here having sex i'm not just casually out here you know going to dinner taking taking bras to dinner and doing this that and the third because a lot of women are doing that they're just into casual dating and woo, -woo and and that you can you're not going to find a long-term relationship with that you got to put it out there from the jump that i want to have a long-term relationship i want real love and so that's something that i made a mistake so but also yeah you're gonna sift through some bullshit you're gonna sift through a lot of really shitty people and, and you might go through some shitty relationships because you might go into a relationship where, where she thinks that the relationship is all about her and she thinks this is what a relationship should be and, and she's not communi communicating to you what a relationship should be and she's not um fulfilling her end of the bargain or she's she, she's selfish and she thinks it should be all about her or, or she thinks it should be like this and really you want it to be like that and it's, 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 and it's like if you can't work those kinks out then yeah it's not going to work out but that's what it is all right thanks for listening jay lee northwest podcast all right so i'm gonna I'm going to do a continuation here. You're talking about um, man as the source, man first, and then um, woman. And I agree with that in a sort of um, biblical um, black and white on paper. However, I think it should be more mutual. I think that there should be more... Um, you know equality in the in, in the choice um but i agree with what you're saying you, you you're, you're saying that women shouldn't be leaders and and i do agree with that i do agree with that as a as a christian you know with the background like i understand what you're saying by by the uh tree and and, and eve the, the there is a principle there eve took the tree you know what i'm saying she she went and um and and, and partook of that tree and she was coerced she was lied to and tempted and uh, it wasn't adam that you're right adam was on his purpose so i agree with that um but in this day and age you know i don't know how well you're going to do with that 
there are women who will be subservient there are women who will will you know move over and let the man take the lead and it and there should be a sort of hierarchy I, you know, on paper i agree with what you're saying like like god first then man then woman then kids right um <clears throat> something along those lines i mean the, i mean basically that okay but I, I i think even that is is a is a that's a real hard thing to do you you, you have to if you're gonna go that route you you got to be the breadwinner you definitely got to be on your purpose you definitely got to be a strong leader and if you show weakness if you show any then she's gonna she's gonna eventually disdain you you know she's gonna eventually think you're weak and it's and, and your marriage is gonna be ruined so when you put that when you put up that hierarchy um context such as that it's it's a dangerous road to go down because you're putting yourself on, on the chopping block you got to perform and if you don't perform you say you get sick or you lose your job or, or or you just get weak you know people change over time sometimes i mean i mean you could you could get beat up by a bunch of guys and it fucks with your confidence for five years and you got to take boxing and you got to learn how to be um you know confident again you got to learn how to how to be a man again you got to get your pride back you got to get your self-esteem back shit happens man i've been through shit like that you know i, I had confidence blah, blah blah and all of a sudden so, you know somebody came and punked me and i and i felt like a little bitch it took me five years to get my confidence back you know what i mean and you got to go out and prove it oh, i gotta now i gotta go out and get in fights so i can get my confidence back and woo 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 and it's like it's a, it's a tough one it's a tough one and, and and don't get me wrong bro i'm not saying that men aren't leaders i'm not saying that men shouldn't shouldn't be leaders but it, it's a slippery slope from being like woo, woo, woo i'm the man uh, i'm the leader to like now i gotta compete with all the other men now i gotta be the alpha out of this group and i gotta be and like don't be that guy that guy's a douchebag be more even be more fluid you know like bruce lee be like water my friend right adapt and 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 sort of uh, i'm not saying you got to be a you know passive or a jellyfish type of character or or, or or you know just amiable to everything and agreeable ha have a strong opinion women like that women want men who have strong opinions there's nothing wrong with that but there's so much out there today in, in this day and age that actually a lot of women are doing the opposite they're looking for guys who are pushovers so that they can take the lead because they're 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 influenced by feminism and this that and the third right um neo-marxism and all this shit you know equality and the liberal movement all this kind of stuff so you're it's it's a tough one to do that it's a tough one to take that stance but i agree with what you're saying on paper and it was eve who was the one tempted it wasn't adam initially and there's a principle there there's a wonderful principle there um you know obviously if you read the bible it's not about polarity what actually happens is, i mean i get what you're saying in that and i understand exactly what you mean by that but if you actually read the bible what happens is that satan enters into adam and eve and subsequently man dies and this is how satan got into man because god and you know initially the whole the whole purpose and point of putting man in front of the two trees was that it's all about what man eats right god said if you eat from one there's going to be a result if you eat for another one there's going to be a result a di you know different result if you eat from the tree of life you're going to live forever if you eat from the tree of knowledge of of good and evil you're going to die so that's that's what happened so it wasn't necessarily polarity it, it, i mean yes there was something that there was some lot <laughs> lies there that was encapsulated in that and now man knows good and evil like us blah 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 there's there, there, there's a weird principle there that happened but ultimately it's about life and death in in the biblical sense but i get what you're saying and you have to look at that that uh example and, and and realize that well woman did take the lead she overthrew man's headship man did have a head there you know it was god then man then woman then children so there was a hierarchy so man was the head of women if you read the new testament paul the apostle does say that man is is the head of the woman i forget where that i think it's in first corinthians i'm not 100 percent sure um so <sighs> there's a principle there there's a principle there man is man takes the lead and there's a lot there's a good amount of women who want men to take the lead they want men to do that but there's this weird shit that's going on out in society where 
you got this equality movement you got this um you know you got a lot of women who want to be equal with men and and i tend to be a little more in that in in that vein when we're talking about a good relationship a long-term good relationship it should be a mutual building up of each other each one fulfills different functions each one fulfills sort of quote-unquote different roles per se meaning you know maybe the guy tends to work more the woman tends to work more whatever whatever and, and those things will play themselves out but the ultimate like i said is the ultimate is the ultimate essence of a relationship is that you both love each other and you both want to um build each other up for a for a long-term relationship type scenario 100 percent, that's what it is um you know so so i get your analogy i get what you're saying um and there's a principle there women were the ones who were tempted but if if you take that strict viewpoint the man has to be the leader and the man has to be on his purpose i agree men have to be on their purpose but a woman needs a purpose too she can't just be some little submissive uh china doll right she needs to i mean i i, I want a woman who's who's ambitious i want a woman who, who who you know has her stuff together i don't want some little no opinionated you know girl who, who doesn't have a personality it's like no i don't want that i want a girl to to be cool i want a girl to um you know not just like be a yes man and, and what you know whatever you say jay whatever you say whatever you say jason it's like you know no 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 i i want you to have opinion i want you to maybe sometimes you take the lead maybe sometimes you pick the date maybe sometimes you um you know have suggestions on what we should do but the women the the women who always say oh the man needs to do all that the man ooh, those type of women are actually lazy and i'm not saying that that there, there's not something in women that is, wants to be submissive to a strong leader man there is something that's within most women many women uh who who, who does that but again it's like <sighs> you know do you, you sure you want to get into that role because if you fuck up then you're on the chopping block oh yeah i took the lead but i i i made a mistake now i'm on the chopping block or oh, i was taking the lead but whoop i lost my job in two years because i got sick whoop now what now you lost your wife you see so it's like if you're basing your whole if you're basing your whole relationship on the fact that you're leading and you're in this role and whoop, i'm the man I'm, I'm charging forward then you better make sure that you never fail but to make sure that you never fail so that's that's a that, that, that's a that's a that's a mistake waiting to happen so if uh if you have that mutuality uh essence that that mutuality foundation that you you're sharing a love and you want to build each other up and you're in this for the long term and it's not that I'm taking the lead. It's not that you're taking the lead. I mean, I'm a man. I'm going to do what a man does. You're a woman. You do what a woman does. We, you know, we, but the bottom line is we love each other. And it's like, I see relationships like that where the woman is just like, I'm docile and I'm, I'm, um, I'm just submissive and I'm quiet and he's the leader. He's the, oh, I'm the man. I'm the one who's talking a lot. I'm the one who's making a rule. It's like, that's weird. It's kind of cringy. It's like, I don't like the energy in that room. I don't like the vibes in that house. It's like, yeah, I get it, man. Well, you're a strong, dominant male and the woman she's, but it's like, is that for real? Is that without everybody? No, it's like, I've been in houses where there's just a, there, there, there's a harmony between the man and the woman. There's a loving harmony in the atmosphere and the air and the energy is and the vibe is, is light. It's, it's easy. It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's functional. It's working. And it's like, that's a better, that's a better scenario. It's like, I don't like these big male driven egos where like, oh, I'm the, I'm the man. What are you doing? This is my house and I work for it. It's like, yeah, I get it, bro. I get what you're saying. You work for it. Cool. It's your house. It's your kingdom. Woo, woo, woo. She, you know, she, she's your queen. She's submissive. And she was it's like, it's like, all right, whatever. I was tired. I was tired. In reality though, like I said, when those harmonious relationships, those are the best relationships where, where it's like the wife has her personality the, the husband has his personality there's a shared mutuality and love that's what i like to see and I'm, I'm i'm not there yet but that's that's my viewpoint on it